Beijing hosted the World Robot Conference, World Robot Conference 2022. Due to the ongoing pandemic in China, only Chinese robotics companies were represented offline. The rest of the world joined online, but as always, there was something to see at the Chinese stands. We have collected for you all the most interesting from the largest exhibition of robots in one video. You are on the Caro Show channel, and we are starting. The Chinese robotics market is developing more than rapidly. The country has been the world's largest consumer of industrial robots for eight years in a row and is increasing the production of its own every year. There were many industrial and medical robots, robots for logistics and agriculture and construction at the exhibition. Unfortunately, the Kaxiami company, which recently presented the Cyberone humanoid robot, did not come. Also, there was no Uptech Robotics with their Walker robot at the exhibition. However, even without them, the bionic and anthropomorphic robots have become a magnet for visitors. The Chinese developer of humanoid service robots and face recognition systems, CloudMinds Technologies, brought Cloud Ginger XR1, which entertained the visitors of the exhibition with dances. The robot can move smoothly thanks to 34 smart flexible joints in the neck and shoulders, elbows, wrists, arms, waist and knees, equipped with multiple 2D and 3D cameras, LADAR, ultrasonic sensors, microphones, tricycle chassis and universal wheels. Cloud Ginger can also drink, move autonomously and avoid obstacles. With a height of 158 centimeters and a weight of 65 kilograms, the graceful humanoid robot has a rather attractive appearance, thanks to which it won the Chinese Red Star Design Award. The robot can listen, speak, see and move. The scope of its use is quite extensive, from education and care for the elderly, to service in a hotel, business centers, participation in advertising and promotion, mass promotions and entertainment shows. One of the brightest booths is with X-Robots, which is a leader in the research and development of China's intelligent humanoid robots and also maintains a leading position in the world in the production of bionic skin and the ability to mass-produce bionic robots. The company combined humanoid robots and metaverse technology to create the Science and Technology Museum of the Future X project. They brought to the exhibition humanoid robots similar to the scientist Albert Einstein and Taiwanese pop singer Teresa Tang, as well as a sympathetic robot and an avatar robot. Our method of creating exorobots has been around for a long time, more than a decade. Humanoid robots are a special type of product. The degree of complexity of their production technique is the highest, because we want to make robots even more like people. For what? To allow them to better integrate into our human society so that they can replace the human at work. The most interesting exhibit of X robots was a robot avatar copying one of the company's employees. It uses the camera to analyze the movements and facial expressions of a person and repeats them. Another robot, according to the developers, was created in order to understand human emotions and respond accordingly. The anthropomorphic X robots robots have up to 140 degrees of freedom throughout their entire body and are equipped with an independently developed robot operating system. The torso and limbs of the robots are controlled by dozens of flexible drives, which makes their movement and facial expressions more realistic. The underwater bionic robot was shown by China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation. Underwater intelligent, bionic robot JSY-3 is mainly used to popularize scientific achievements. Presented at the exhibition, JSY-3 is made in the form of a featherless porpoise. There are two variations one and two tenths of a meter long and half a meter. These robots can run for eight and four hours on a single charge. Unitree Robotics presented several models of robots at once at the exhibition and opened the exhibition with a grandiose dance show of 100 Go One Dogs. The company also specializes in creating a cloud system of remote control terminals for smart robots, various programs and platforms for learning, developing artificial intelligence and cloud security. We are Unitry company from Hangzhou. Almost six years have passed since our foundation. We have an extremely diverse product line, including small, medium and large dogs, and they all have different applications. Take for example a small dog. It is used for research education, 
entertainment, and accompaniment. They can be guide dogs and keep lonely elderly people company and guard them. Medium and large dogs are mainly used for patrols of inspections in petrochemical plants and power plants. Robots Go One went on sale only a year ago, and the company has already been able to sell about 10,000 copies. It is worth noting that Unitree Robotics is so far the only Chinese manufacturer of robots that has received European, North American, Japanese and other quality certificates. All robots of the company can be equipped with additional equipment, including a manipulator. A curious premier exhibit was the intelligent jewel manipulator platform of the Beijing-based company Realman, which develops ultralight robotic manipulators. The robot presented at the exhibition is capable of performing tasks independently with one arm and two arms simultaneously as a human does. The lower part of the platform is equipped with a mobile robot that can move around and avoid obstacles. In addition, the robot is equipped with a voice module and deep vision technology, which gives it the capabilities of voice interaction and visual perception. Curious solutions for logistics and warehousing were shown by Michuan, which in 12 years managed to become one of the most advanced and technologically advanced Chinese service companies. It specializes in the delivery of ready-made food, groceries, flowers, and other goods. Michuan is also active in marketing, information technologies, supply chain management, and financing. Every day around 40 million people use its services. At the World Robot Conference Michuan, introduce smart solutions for sorting and delivery, including its independently developed unmanned delivery truck of the new generation, with a payload capacity of 150 kilograms, 540 liters, and the ability to cover 120 kilometers on city roads on one charge. The company was the first in China to organize regular delivery by autonomous robots, which are now operating in Beijing and Shenzhen. On the whole, the unmanned couriers covered 1.5 million kilometers for 800 days and delivered 2,200,000 orders. Also at the company's stand was presented a 3D sorting system, which includes moving sorting robots, a shelving system of containers for the distribution of goods and an operating platform. The system can operate in a set mode without interruption, even in the presence of disturbances. At the exhibition, children constantly interfered with its operation and the rhythm of the movement was not disrupted. Beijing Lessetech, a company specializing in the production of robots for emergencies, at the WRC 2022 presented its latest scout robot to the general public for the first time. This robot is resistant to high temperatures and can withstand 10 minutes in an environment with temperatures up to 350 degrees Celsius. The robot is small and maneuverable, weighing 45 kilograms, and can move at a maximum speed of one and two tenths of a meter per second and operate autonomously for three hours. The fire brigade at the scene of the accident can first launch the robot into the building to inspect the fire scene, assess the degree of structural damage and flame spread, and determine the vital signs of the people inside. It is also suitable for use in environments with toxic gases. The company was the first in the world to market a firefighter robot that can withstand temperatures of 1,000 degrees Celsius for half an hour. The robot has been used by Chinese emergency services for several years. There were many industrial robots at the fair. Yaskawa Shugeng Robot displayed an impressive new line for the production of automotive battery components. It consists of seven industrial robots and carries out ten processes. The line is equipped with a production management system for collecting, storing and monitoring robot and process data. Direct Drive brought to the exhibition a mobile two-wheeled robot Diablo powered by direct drive motors. The Diablo combines the characteristics of a traditional wheeled and a multi-leg robot. Its legs can bend and straighten independently of each other. Thanks to its design, the robot weighing 23 kilograms can jump sideways up to 8 centimeters, and the maximum height of jumping on the spot reaches 14 centimeters. It remains stable when overcoming obstacles 5 centimeters high, with one foot can overcome obstacles 10 centimeters high. Diablo is quiet enough, and it can be used for patrolling in any conditions by adding the camera. It also has good shockproof characteristics, and no matter how hard the collision is, the robot will keep its stability. The maximum load of Diablo can reach 100 kilograms. 
Operating time without recharging is four hours. The cost is about $2,300. Beijing Institute of Technology showed its developments, including a bionic arm, a jumping robot dog, and an anthropomorphic robot, which according to the creators can run at a maximum speed of 7 and 3 tenths of a kilometer per hour, jump a length of 1 and 6 hundredths of a meter, and a height of 53 centimeters. Medical technology was given increased attention at this year's exhibition. Agrobotics showed several rehabilitation robots and an exoskeleton that helped Chinese Paralympians participate in the Olympic torch relay for the Games in March 2022. Beijing Surgery Technology presented a robotic surgical system at its booth, which was the first in China to undergo a special inspection procedure for innovative medical equipment in its category. The system consists of a unit with a control panel and a unit with a robotic arm and an operating table. The operating surgeon is at the console and remotely controls a high-resolution electronic endoscope and surgical instruments. The system allows for minimally invasive operations on various internal organs of the abdominal cavity and has already undergone successful clinical tests. There are many multi-port laparoscopy systems on the market right now. Usually you need to make four to five incisions in the abdominal wall to work with them. But for our system one is enough, because we have our own patented serpentine surgical instrument technology. As far as we know, no single port laparoscopic robot has been released on the market at the moment. So that too is our advantage. We now perform a lot of surgeries in urology, gynecology, and general surgery. A number of surgeons are extremely positive about our equipment. Saison has installed robotic tents to perform PCR tests, which could be highly relevant in China, where the population is still regularly tested several times a week. However, the technology is not yet perfect, and the testing procedure is rather slow. What was your favorite exhibit at this show? Write your opinion in the comments. The Caro Show team was with you. Goodbye.